Here's my Sephora Savings haul. I got the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid because I ran out of the old one. I got the bigger size and here's it in comparison to my other one. Then I got the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Blush. I got it because I loved the formula when I tried the mini one. I got it in shade Southbound and here's it swatched on my hand. This one I'm so excited about, I got the Charlotte Tilbury Pressed Powder. It's in shade Fair and it's so gorgeous. Then I got my Holy Grail, the Laneige Lip Balm in shade Berry. Because my old one is literally like on its deathbed. Also, my mom redeemed some points today at Shoppers, so I got the Bronzy Drops, and I got this Milani Blush in shade T-Rose for free. Bye, guys. Love you. Let's do the biggest shopping haul ever. Okay, you guys, if this is seriously not the biggest Sephora bag you've ever seen, then I do not know what it is. And please let me know if this gets on anybody's free page. TikTok, please let me get it on your free page. I think I'm shadow banned. Also, we have two gigantic bags, one small bag, and a bunch of Amazon packages. Starting off first with the first Sephora bag. This is the small bag. I have one product. It is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I have repurchased this about 10 times. It is amazing for your dry, acne-prone skin. And no, I do not support what Laneige does, but I still buy it. Okay, this next product I'm so excited for. It is the Way in St. Bart's. It is the body scrub. I have the body lotion and the body wash. I love the scent, and it smells like... A tropical beach vacation. Okay, similar situation. This is the Oye Body Wash in Melrose. I have the body lotion and the body scrub. It seriously smells so, so good. It smells like rich Aspen House Mom. Yes. Also, can we just get a minute for the packaging? It is so cutie. Next, I have two new product alerts. First is the Tower 28 Mascara. I've heard everybody rave about this, so we're going to put it to the test. And then I have the First Aid Beauty Bump Eraser. Okay, I get those really tiny bumps on my arms and then all over my legs. So hopefully this scrub fixes it. And then there's no Michaela in here, so let's put it to the test. One swipe. Whoa! You guys, that was barely a swipe. Look how much volume that already gave me. Then, and of course, you have to look like a tan goddess in the Maldives, so I picked up the Sancho Pez Tanning Mist in dark. And the very last thing from bag number one is this Jizu Travel Kit. I don't know about you guys, but I am obsessed with my hair. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, of course, I have to take good care of it while I'm on vacation. I got the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask, and, of course, the leave-in conditioner. Next, in bag number two, I picked up the Firming Collagen Masks. I say this every single time, but I seriously did not believe in face masks until I tried these. These are so amazing. Dr. Jart, amazing. Okay, and that is all from Sephora. Let's now move on to Amazon. Okay, first from Amazon, me and my sister picked up a bunch of these fun temporary tattoos. We are going to do these while in the Maldives, and of course, we'll keep you updated. The last thing from Amazon you guys are going to be so excited for it is a bunch of camera cards. I've decided to take up vlogging, so you guys will see some Maldivian vlogs with these camera cards. Also, I feel like these were a really, really good deal. You got five camera cards, only $35. And they are like the fancy ones. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Bye. Hey guys, it's Sephora haul time. So we're going to start with the first bag. And there's a lot of goodies in here. First things first, I got the Brazilian Crush Sol de Janeiro in 68. And I actually already used this yesterday. And Sorry, like I was talking and I feel like the thing just like went inside of my mouth. I don't even know how to explain it. But she smells really good. Next thing is from Drunk Elephant. This is the Protini Polypeptide Cream. And I actually already used this a few years ago, but I completely forgot about it because I only try like the mini size. Next thing we have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream and I'm so excited to try her. She is huge. Okay, next thing are these Touchland Power Mist. This is in Vanilla Blossom and this is in Rainwater. Okay, so next is the Super Goop Watery Lotion. I'm so excited to try this. I've been into sunscreen lately. Oh my gosh. And here she is. She is so adorable. Next thing that I'm actually wearing right now is the Rare Beauty Setting Powder. And this is what she looks like. I got this in Shade Light. Next thing I'm so excited to try. Wrong one. Um, <laughs> These are the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla Beige and Cherry. The next thing, the one that I grabbed wrong, is I'm actually wearing it right now. It's the Soft Pinch Scented Lip Oil in Shade Delight from Rare Beauty. Okay, so I actually forgot to show you guys what they look like. So here are the Summer Fridays and here's the Rare Beauty. I literally feel like I'm rushing, but it's just because I have so much to go through. Okay, this next one is the Drunk Elephant 
hydration serum and she is so pretty and the twisty thing so cute next thing is an employer actually recommended me and tried it on me and it looked really good so this is the makeup by mario contour stick and she is so convenient because it comes with a brush like look at that next thing is the charlotte tilbury facial oil which i actually already tried and look at how cute next thing is also from charlotte tilbury and i'm wearing it right now an employer actually tried it on me and she is amazing like just look at my under eyes so good you guys next thing i got is the hourglass concealer in the mini because i just wanted to try it because i've heard it's really good so here it is and the next thing is from dior i actually have this in a mini size and this is a lash primer serum so you put it on before mascara and i love next thing is the rare beauty lip liner in the shade lively and here she is next thing is from gizu this is the honey infused hair oil and she is so pretty okay guys so i don't have enough time to finish the rest of this bag and i have another sephora haul stuff i ordered i ordered from the sephora sale me and my mom are Rouge members, so I did get this, like, all 20% off, which is a really good, like, sale price because makeup is expensive. The first thing I got is this Sol de Janeiro body wash. I am obsessed with the scent 40, and my friend Nicola got this, and she did it was really good, so I got it. In the Sephora sale that it was in, like, December, November, whenever it was, I got this, like, set of, like, the Charlotte Tilbury, like, highlighter and blush. And I, like, can you can see that I used so much more of a blush, so I got, like, the full version, full-size version of the blush. I was super, super excited for the Rare Beauty highlighter. I got in the shade Enlighten, like the white shade, and it came crushed. Like, I don't want to take it out of the box right now, but when I took it out, it was like a powder. I've heard this happen with a lot of people, so they definitely need to fix this issue. But I still love Rare Beauty, which is why I got another of the Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes in the shade Lucky. Lucky is like a bright pink, and I cannot wait to use this. It's going to be perfect for summer. Last sale, they had this, like, set of all the Summer Friday, like, lip balms, the full size of the vanilla and, like, the minis of the other shades. But by the time I could get it, it was all sold out. So this soil, I just got the full size of the vanilla. Right before I was about to order my car, I saw a TikTok that was, like, the Sephora brand setting spray keeps your makeup on and school air does not affect it. So I got it. Then I also got the Glossier Rose Balm.com. Some point in like the year last year, there was like a thing where if you spend $100, you get a $50 gift card. And I was $7 off and I got this and it literally was so good. I had to get two of them. So I got like this shade and like the cherry shade, but I lost this shade. So I got it again. The Drunk Elephant like drops were in stock and I really wanted to get them. But like I've heard like mixed reviews. So I wanted to get like the mini pack with the blush, bronzy drops and like moisturizer. So I've ordered that off of the Drunk Elephant website. So, But for dupes, I got these. First, I got the Sol de Janeiro, like, Glow Motions Copa Cabana Bronze. And these are supposed to be, like, more of, like, a glow oil than, like, a paste or whatever. But then I also got, like, the Say one. And I do have the Say one in, like, the mini, wherever it is, but in, like, the white or highlighter shade. But I got it in like, the bronzing shade. For sample, I got this, like, Tom Ford thing. I don't know, like, primer. But I don't know where like, my other sample is. There's only one in here. But that's what I got from the Sephora sale. Bye! Oh my gosh, I also forgot to mention I got the Tickle Highlighter by Benetint. And oh my goodness, look how pretty it is. It's like pink with like a gold undertone. Oh my god. I just got back from the Sephora sale, so I'm gonna show you what I grabbed. And also products I already have and would recommend. Alexa, pause. Posty's gonna have to wait. I'm gonna show you what I got. Actually funny because if you know me, you know I love pink. And literally all of these are pink. I don't know how that happened, but it did. First up, we're gonna talk scents because that's most of what I grabbed. You guys know I love Sol de Janeiro. And this pink set is phenomenal. Brooke always wears it. And I'm like, why do you smell so good? It's literally this, you guys. Like, it's delicious. So I got the body butter, the perfume. They only have the mini sizes. So I did grab two because I like to keep one in my car. And while they're 20% off, might as well. And then I also grabbed the body wash to try out. I would also recommend their original scent and the Rio Radiance. I like both of those as well. So 
Off you go. And another scent inspired by Brooke is this Valentino. It's a scent Coral Fantasy. And this I'm just trying out because I tried out a hair mask and I absolutely loved it. So I wanted to see what their hair care line was about. And I grabbed the Amika shampoo and conditioner. So I'll update on this. And then I also grabbed the Rare Beauty Highlight in Flan. Apparently some people have been using these to like replace the drunk alpha bronzing drops. So I'm gonna give it a try. But it's beautiful. Okay, now on the products I already have and would recommend. It was really hard to narrow it down and I feel like I'm missing a few favorites, but these are the ones that came to my head first. This tart brush, literally this one. Honestly, any of them are really good, but this one is the easiest thing to apply foundation with. I absolutely love it. And sticking with the tart theme, I love this BB cream. It makes my skin look flawless. And this is my all time favorite like high coverage concealer is their Tarte Shape Tape in the Creamy Ultra. I'm really, really dry, so I like the creamy one, but if you are oily, I'd recommend just the normal one. Back with Rare Beauty, their eye brightener. Whenever you can catch it in stock, this is what I use on my no makeup makeup days. It's literally the best thing in the whole world. All it does is brighten your under eyes, but it doesn't look like you have any makeup. It's phenomenal. Also, a new favorite of mine is this Kosa sunscreen. I've been loving it. I pair it with my Rare Beauty eye brightener. Y'all know me. I love my faux freckles. So this is the Freck OG. This is like the mini one, but they do have a bigger size. However, this has lasted me like forever. So I feel like you get away with the mini one. The Milk Makeup Bronzer or Contour. Honestly, this formula is just flawless. So anything in this little tube. You guys know I love my Whey products. I do. I love their body wash. This is their Detox Shampoo. It's probably my most recommended product from them because I love how clean it gets my hair. And I use it about once a week. Definitely not an everyday product, but it helps a girl out so much. Also, the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette this thing is love i love both shades of this and it's my go-to eyeshadow palette i wear it anytime our eyeshadow and we have a tanning product i've been obsessed with this tan Lux body butter that's a gradual tan i just apply it to my body once a day and i feel like it gives me like such an even light tan but it's strong so wash your hands after and then lip product i'm missing the lawless in painted daisy that's up there too with this peptide lip treat the tart lip balm, and of course patrick so my uncle took me to sephora today and so i have a haul I just wanted to start off by saying I am so appreciative for everything he got me and it was a surprise and I'm just so extremely grateful. Okay, so um, the first thing I have, oh, what's with the hair? So first I have the Sol de Janeiro um, little kit. It has the cream, the shower gel, and a mini perfume. Okay, so next thing my uncle actually picked out, it's the um, 62 Brazilian Crush perfume. I was so excited to get this because it smells absolutely amazing. It's also like insanely large. Like I have a huge head and then look at it compared to my head. What? Okay, so basically my uncle knew someone in there and um, I asked her like if she had a setting spray. And so I was holding the milk one and she was like, no, make your uncle spend his money. And so anyways, she told me to pick up this one. And so I grabbed the smaller size one and she goes, no, get the big one. And my uncle was like, yeah, get the big one. Like what? Oh, like, of course, I was like, okay, oh my Jesus. Oh my God, I would like totally rock blue eyes. What? JK, y'all, brown eye supremacy. Okay, so I forgot if I did this already, but next I got the little Laneige Midnight to Morning Hydration. Okay, so when I got home, um, my sister wasn't feeling too good, so I was like, okay, like, I'll, I'll let you share some stuff. And um, I got this Laneige thing, right? So basically, I didn't realize that um, not all of these were lip care products, and I made her put these on her lips, and she was like, these takes, taste disgusting, and I was like, Grace, like, what? But then I read them, and I realized this was the only lip care product, so I'm sorry, Grace. Next, I was so excited. It's the Laneige little lip balm thingy. <laughs> okay, so next, I was asking if they have the DeBronzy drops, because I really want them, but they didn't, but she did find the little um rosy drops and i was like it's fine but then my uncle was like grab them and i was like okay and i also wanted to try to find the polypeptide cream but they didn't have it but they did have the um whipped cream and so i'm still really excited next i grabbed um this product from milk which is the um little highlight stick i think um i put a little on my nose and it looks really good so i'm really excited to try it out oh so I like ripped this open, so <laughs> whoops. But I got the um milk. I wanted to get the con like the bronzer thing, and I said contour, and the lady was like, So you can get this foundation stick, and I was too scared to say no. So I got this and I'm really excited to try it out because it honestly looks really, really cool. I have a headache from talking. Um lastly, I got the ordinary uh niacinamide um drops from the ordinary and I have the caffeine solution one uh, right here, and I really like it. I think it worked um, amazing for me, so. So that's all I bought, but I did get these samples. 
um, the lady at the thing was so nice and she gave me um, a cologne for my uncle and I got this Juliet has a gum not a perfume perfume and these two face washes quick filter swap but anyways I've been doing really good in school and so that is one of the main reasons that um, my uncle took me out and I'm so grateful so thank you so much thank you so much um, for 60 followers I'm so extremely grateful for everything, and so yeah. Have a beautiful day, and I love you guys.